the last chaotic race in Australia, with its record three red flags, was but a distant memory as Formula One touched down in Azerbaijan this week, almost a month after leaving Albert Park. But the rare break, due to the sudden cancellation of the Chinese Grand Prix, which still leaves a record 23-round calendar, did not see the teams hit the beach for sun and swimming. Far from it, with the extended time fueling F1's development war and a chance for a step change from Baku. Meaning late nights galore, from Marinello to Woking, and from Enstone to Brackley and Milton Keynes and beyond. Red Bull are likely to dominate, but Aston Martin and Mercedes both hope to close the gap. Ferrari wants to be in that fight, while there's 11 points between 5th and 10th. So we're expecting updates galore from up and down the pit lane. Including Aston Martin, Ferrari and Haas, which last modified their F1 cars in Saudi Arabia. Seven of the teams brought upgrades to Australia, including Alpha Tauri, which had the most extensive parts list. With its new floor iteration at Albert Park, the first of a five or six part upgrade to achieve the pre-season development targets it missed. Same thing over at McLaren, which has been behind from the start on its MCL 60 and made sweeping changes on its technical team with a major upgrade set for Azerbaijan. The high-level objective is to keep growing as a team, close the gap to the front of the grid. Uh, we know we are realistic about the short term, but we also know that we have uh, good developments coming for uh, the season already on this uh, new car. But the pecking order may change again simply with the track difference between Melbourne and Baku, and little time to assess upgrades with the first sprint of the year compacting the schedule. Where Melbourne had been front limited, putting more strain on the front axle, probably Baku will be rear limited. So it's, it's a very, very different set of circumstances. But one team we know will be competitive is Red Bull, which has won three of the six Azerbaijan races, including last year when Max Verstappen took his maiden Baku victory following that dramatic tire blowout in 2021. No driver, though, has ever won twice in the land of fire. But we're expecting to see the battle between Verstappen and teammate Sergio Perez, who won in 2021, heat up, with both wanting the title and Checo keen to prove he can be top bull. Will we see a repeat of Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo's crash in 2018 when neither was prepared to give an inch? The Baku city circuit is on the shores of the Caspian Sea with the six kilometer track featuring 20 turns, 12 left and eight right with a top speed of 355 kilometers per hour. Charles Leclerc reset the lap record in 2019 for Ferrari. There are two DRS activation zones between turns two and three and along the main straight with two DRS detection points. It's all on the line as F1 prepares to race in Azerbaijan. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.